Hey guys, what's up? We've got a new Outlaw out here. Figured you guys might want to check it out. Figured the best way to do it was get out here on the water. I'm sitting on the paddleboard. We got Jordan and Tom on the boat. And show you a couple cool things about the boat. Stuff that we like, stuff that you might like. So check it out. I'm going to spin around and show you the boat. All right. Now we're in an awesome little creek that is Charleston-y. We got the marsh grass, we got the tide moving. We got Tom on the front. Check it out. All right, this thing's sweet. It's got the same lines as our Nomad, and we actually use all the same materials and build processes. Huge design feature on this one for us was making the boat super, super stable. So we're gonna show you guys that first. So I'll get Jordan to hop down and uh, yeah, we're gonna come out a little bit. We'll get Jordan to hop down and get Tom over there on a the gunnel and then we'll show you how stable this thing is. While we come out, you can check out the sweet lines on it. Same cool spray rail as your Nomad that kind of disappears into the hull. Big open cockpit, hatch in the front, hatch in the back. Awesome rounded transom, helps the boat turn, helps the boat pull backwards, get the trim tabs sucked in, super functional. Won't get your fly line hung up. Won't get hung up when you're pulling backwards in the oysters or the mangroves. Just makes the boat a little slicker. Cool, so now we're back out of the creek. I'm going to get Tom and Jordan to walk to this side of the boat. Sweet. We're all standing on the gunnel. I'm just going to leave you guys right there and I'm going to walk around to the other side and show you guys the other side of the boat. As we go around, you can see that big cool rounded transom. Transom made for 20 inch motor. You can run it with or without the jack plate. Cool, so now we got the other side of the boat. You can see it's a little out of the water, but it's a 59 inch beam on this boat. We got two guys standing on the opposite gunnel. So I'm gonna get you guys to walk back across the boat. Here we go again, two guys on the gunnel. Super, super stable. We figured why well, have a boat that could float in three to five inches of water and you can't go there without spooking the fish. So stability was a big deal. Small but comfortable. All right, we get you guys to walk around the gunnels. So you can walk around the gunnels of this thing. Comfortable. You can have two guys on the back, two guys on the front. Super comfortable, low, even. It's just two guys on the bow of the boat. Whole boat still in the water. Walking down the gunnels here, stability being the number one design feature on this boat. Cool. Now nah, let's show them how it pulls a little bit, Jordan. If you want to hop back up there, that nice big round transom lets the boat spin around really good. So you can spin it good. It's got strakes that run about 60% of the length of the boat. So. When you're pulling, you can spin really nice. See Jordan pulling backwards here. Limited pressure waves coming off the boat. Pulling backwards. Dead quiet. Minus Jordan sloshing the push pull around. You spin a little bit. Cool, I'm gonna scoot a little closer to the boat and show you guys how shallow it is. So this boat's got two degrees of dead rise. It's pretty flat up to the front of the boat, but it's got a nice sharp entry. To help break that chop up if you do get any chop. So this is two guys on the boat. We've got 11 gallon built-in fuel tank and we just went ahead and topped that thing off just so you could see what the boat was like fully loaded. So right now, go up to the side of the boat here. You can see we're in put my hands here so you can see it's pretty shallow it's about two degrees of dead rise so what you're seeing on the side of boats probably pretty close to what it's going to be give or take half an inch or so 
Go to the back. Nice big round transom again. Everything on the boats, all the edges have a really nice big round radius on them. So if you're bumping into stuff, going over oyster beds, tugging the boat over a dike, whatever you might be doing with it, doesn't have those sharp edges. So when you hit stuff, a lot less chance you're gonna chip gel coat, get hung on stuff. Everything in our boat has a purpose. And it has to look nice too. So since we got a couple of the cool things that it does out of the way, I'm gonna show you guys a couple features on the boat, some stuff that we did. This is our personal boat. Jordan and I built for ourselves. We figured we didn't have a boat, so we built the first one. After all, we do build the boats just how we want them, and hope you guys can get some use out of them too. <laughs> so one big back hatch here, rigging tube coming out here, and 20 inch transom again. All slam latches got that awesome carbon fiber finish the whole boat's carbon fiber carbon and negra big wide open storage in here these drain out of the back of the boat slam latches again you don't have to twist or do anything we've got this cool little carbon box that we did on our boat it's an option so it's got all switches trim tabs so the boat's kind of set up more like a traditional john boat where you got the plug here in the center so you can put the plug in the center in the cockpit. And if you get water in, you can drain it while you're up and going. Or you can put the plug in the back of the boat, use it more like that. Either way, no bilge pump, minimal electronics, and just nav lights. And we've got some under gunnel lights on ours. Got this really cool custom made chair with some Paul Puckett art on it from one of our customers that has a Nomad. He lent it to us see the cool little logo we got here molded cockpit all all grip non-skid all the time all the boats come with a molded cockpit too it's fit to the contour of the boat so you don't have that flat you don't get the flex in the bottom of the boat super stiff the boats fully cored rock solid carbon fiber the whole thing Tom's gonna show us the front lid. we've got the built-in gas tank in our boat it's 11 gallons Sits up off the floor, fully coated, and again, gas shocks, slam latches, that awesome carbon fiber finish. The lids are all carbon fiber, the boat's all carbon fiber. I'll scoot back a little bit and let you guys get one last look at it. We've got tons of cool little options for this thing. It's meant to be personalized just for you. Jordan and I built all the boats, start to finish one at a time they're all custom just how you want it LED nav lights let me show you Jordan pulling it a little bit deck has a touch of camber in it just for strength and aesthetics it looks pretty nice too sweet hope you guys liked it hope you guys like the boat and if you need some more information, just get in contact with us. We can answer all your questions later.